Hey, Drop Tech fans. Welcome back to the channel. You know how it goes. Whenever there's a big software update, not everything works smoothly for everyone. Samsung's latest One UI 7 update, based on Android 15, is no different. If you've recently upgraded your Galaxy device, you might be running into a few problems. Don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of users across Reddit, Samsung forums, and social media are reporting the same issues. So in this video, let's go over some of the most common bugs and glitches people are facing after updating to One UI 7. Let's start with one of the most common complaints, battery drain and performance lag. Even though smoother animations have made the user experience better, especially on high-end phones like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, many people with mid-range devices are still seeing slowdowns and faster battery loss. On my own Galaxy S25 Ultra, I did notice that the battery started draining a bit quicker after I installed the April 2025 security patch that came with One UI 7. It wasn't anything major, but it was noticeable. If these problems keep happening on your device, don't wait. Get in touch with Samsung support. You can reach them through the Samsung Members app, live chat, or by visiting a nearby service center. And if your screen has issues like the green line defect, ask whether your device qualifies for Samsung's free screen replacement programs. Another annoying issue has to do with the lock screen and unlocking methods. In the early rollout, some users were completely locked out of their phones. Most of that was fixed with the BYD9 build, but some people are still having trouble with fingerprint and face unlock. A few even said that photos inside the secure folder briefly became visible without proper authentication, which is a serious privacy issue. A simple fix is to avoid using Microsoft SwiftKey if you've enabled password protection. After the update, double check that your unlocking methods are working properly. A lot of Galaxy S24 users, especially those with the Ultra model, are running into installation errors. Messages like, couldn't install update, try again later, keep popping up, and in some cases, the download gets stuck at 100%. The likely reason? Too many people updating at once. Servers get overloaded. If this happens, just pause the update, restart your phone, and try again later. Sometimes, waiting a few hours is all it takes to solve the problem. Now, for those using Samsung tablets like the Tab S9 or Tab S10, there's another problem. Samsung warned users to switch their home screen from a horizontal to vertical grid before installing the update. Ignoring this step can mess up the layout badly, especially if you use full-height widgets like the 3 x 7 ones. To fix this, you can use the Home Up module from Good Lock to change your layout either before or after you update. There's also a weird compatibility issue with Microsoft SwiftKey. If you're using it as your default keyboard and have password protection turned on, your device might refuse to unlock after the update. To be safe, switch to the Samsung keyboard before updating. This small step can help you avoid losing access to your phone or important data. So, have you already updated to One UI 7? What's your experience been like so far? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what issues you're facing, or maybe things are running smoothly for you. Either way, drop a comment. I might include your feedback in one of my upcoming videos. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech updates. Also, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. That's it for today, Drop Tech fans. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.